All right, we're going to talk about the weather now. Let's get some representation from meteorologist Ray Petlin because we have a lot of questions we want answered as the snow continues to come down. How much and when all of that good stuff? Snow and cold yeah. in the picture. Ray, what do you got? Well, this is one of those situations where, yes, we know it snows in January. And is this going to be a big snow we're getting tonight? No, but it does have some impacts because of when it's coming down, which is during an evening commute, this slows things down. And we know that's how it works in Pittsburgh. So if you have a loved one that's taking a little longer to get home for dinner, this is likely why. Some of the steadier snows that we have right now are up into Beaver County. This is where... Uh, Right now, you see the darkest blue. That's an indication of where it's coming down the steadiest, if not heaviest. But uh, most of this is more of a steady snow rather than a, than a heavy uh, snow. But it could certainly leave some quick coatings on the ground. So keep that in mind for any of your late night travels. If you're taking the kids to practice or anything like that, you might have to give yourself a couple extra minutes to get around. Same deal in the south. And over the next couple of hours, this snow is going to become more of a lake effect and upslope event. You can see how uh, by midnight we start seeing things banding out. So that's a, a, a sign that it's trying to come to an end, but still the winds are blowing across the lakes, and that's going to leave us with that potential for a little lake effect and upslope snow. But by tomorrow, this should be nothing left than some flurries. Two to four inches for areas east of Pittsburgh and up to the north. Everyone else, one to three by the time all is said and done. Now, when it comes to snow, there's a little more coming up later this week. So Friday... That's a possibility. That's a time we want you to be aware about that there could be some additional accumulations. This far out, it's not looking like big snow. But again, if it times out an inch during, during rush hour, that could be some issues. So we want you to be aware and to watch for Friday for the next possible snowfall. We've been doing pretty good in the snowfall department this month. 16.8 inches. By the time it's all said and done, we'll be over 17 inches by the end of the day. Most of the snow for this year has come down this month. Temperatures, mid to upper 20s. These are not bad temperatures for uh, this time of year. However, we're not going to drop much tonight. Just know that when we see our temperatures fall off overnight down into the low 20s by early morning, we're not warming up much from that tomorrow, and that's the beginning of some very cold air that's going to be working in here. So at the bus stop in the morning, temps low to mid-20s, and through the day, we're going to keep it in those lower 20s. So tonight, 20 degrees, 1 to 3 inches of snow. Tomorrow, 26 for the high temperature, so not a big swing. And to be honest with you, much of the day tomorrow comes with these temperatures hanging out only in these mid-20s. So it, it'll be a much colder setup for the day tomorrow. Over the next seven, you will notice that we do have some uh, very cold temperatures. Wednesday morning, temperatures, they're going to be down into the single digits. Five degrees is what we're looking for early on Wednesday morning. We top off at 19 degrees there, then getting into early Thursday morning, zero. Likely wind chills below zero as a result, and that means you might be looking at some uh, late starts there. So Thursday's a time where you might have a two-hour delay to get the buses ready, to make sure the kids are warm enough at the bus stops. So watch that, and then Friday is that potential for some snow before we have a cold but quiet start to the weekend.